In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a super jump effect. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from WannaShare for more here to empower your inner video creator. We've previously made some videos recreating superpower scenes, and today we'd like to create a ninja super jump effect that is popular in many animes. This is a cool editing trick that is perfect for anyone who'd like to add a supernatural aspect to the videos. Alright, let's check out how to do it! I'm going to use a wide angle lens from my camera or mobile phone for this effect, so that I can make sure that everything is in focus with a good depth of field. During the filming process, make sure the camera or the mobile phone is on a tripod or steady surface, so the frame doesn't change while filming. Now, let's film the three clips needed for this effect. First, I'm going to jump into the air from a distance away from the camera. The second clip is the landing of the effect. Finally, we will need an empty background clip that only includes the background without me in the frame. All right, let's bring the clips into firmware 11. I'm going to place the empty background clip on the first video track of the timeline and place the jumping clip on the top. Let's move the play hat to find the spot where I jump into the air and the body looks the smallest. Then, right click on the clip, go to the speed option and choose add freeze frame. Next, I'm going to make a cut at the start of the freeze frame. Keep the freeze frame for about 8 frames and delete the rest of the clip. Let's click on the freeze frame clip to open the setting window. Find the mask section, pick the circle shape and create a mask of the jumping subject. I'll hide the first video track to view the mask better. Adjust the scale, position and shape of the mask to match the figure. I'll change the blur strands to make the edge smoother. After that, we can go to the effects window and click on Boris effects. Find directional blur from the BCC blur pack and drag it onto the freeze frame clip. Click on the clip to open the setting window. Find the effect section. I'll adjust the amount of blur and angle to get a blur shadow image. Now, let's turn on the first video track. It's time to work on the landing part now. Let's drag and drop the landing clip onto the timeline and find the spot where I start to descend towards the floor. Make a cut here and delete the previous part. Move the clip next to the freeze frame clip. Now, I'm going to add an animation to the masked figure, so it turns into a speed moving shadow. Click on the freeze frame clip and open the setting window. Find the animation section and click on customize. Add the first keyframe at the beginning of this clip. Move the playhead two frames forward to the right. Then, click on the Add button again. Change the position of the shadow figure vertically and move it out of the frame from the top. After that, move the playhead a few frames forward and add another keyframe. Keep all the settings the same as the second keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of this clip and click on the Add button again. Then, using the first frame of the landing clip as a reference, adjust the scale and the position of the blur shadow image to match with it. At this spot, we only need to see part of the shadow at the top of the frame. And now, we have the effect roughly done. I think the speed of the jumping and landing action looks too slow to match with the fast-moving shadow. We can fix it quickly using the speed ramping feature in Femora 11. Click on the jumping clip to open the setting window and choose the speed tab. Then click on customize in the speed ramping section. Move the playhead to end of the clip and move the last keyframe up to speed up the clip. Then click on the landing clip to open the setting window and choose the customize tab in the speed ramping section. Move the first keyframe up to increase the speed and move the second keyframe to the spot where I fully land and maintain the normal speed for the rest. That's it! Let's see what the result looks like!
Isn't this cool? Alright, that's how to create a Ninja Super Jump in Femora 11. This effect reminds us of some of our favorite animes. What's your favorite animation? Let us know in the comments! Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for the new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time! Make more confidently from first wave to last. No matter what kind of videos you create, Femora 11 can help you achieve more.